it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Well, I am a little bit pressed for time today, so I decided to go ahead and do VEDA Day 27 and Stitch Your Library, episode number 17. <laughs> so, you're getting a two for one in one video. <laughs> okay, so what did I do today? Well, uh, for the Spring Declutter Challenge, this is being hosted by uh, Steph of The Secret Slob here on YouTube. I will link her channel below in the description box. Okay, so for the declutter assignment today, it was dressers and bedside tables. So, uh, let me show you that. On the bingo sheet here, it is right right <laughs> right there <laughs> and I did do it I completed that mission so that gave me another bingo right down that line right there <laughs> okay so uh what I did is uh, I didn't have a whole lot on my bedside table but uh what was on there uh, I dusted the surface off my bedside table has some three drawers in it and I, I kind of went through that but there really wasn't anything I took a little bit of trash out of it uh, but there wasn't really anything in there that I had to declutter or at least I I didn't feel to do it <laughs> but I like I said I did dust the top off and uh, while I was in my bedroom I went ahead and because uh, it does say dressers and bedside tables okay so I did the bedside table not much to do there we have a dresser which I had previously uh, already cleaned off but I had mentioned before when I was talking about that dresser that I have a dresser scarf I think that's what you call it it's something that I crocheted um, years ago I got it like as a um, kit it came with the pattern and the yarn it's made out of crochet thread and the pattern oh I said that <laughs> anyway it was a kit and I think I have seen actually seen that pattern maybe on ePattern Central if I can find that pattern um, if it's still floating around somewhere if I can find it I will link it below in the description box if anybody's interested but I did remember to take a picture of it and so I want to insert that picture right here so you can see um, the that <laughs> that dresser scarf it is a pineapple stitch if you can see the picture there um and like i said i did it because there was a pretty big size water spot that was like all right on the top of my dresser it's an antique and um we just haven't refinished the top of it enough to fix that spot and so uh i just put that i made that dresser scarf and put it across the top and you don't even know it's there <laughs> so anyway that is the picture of it okay so uh, i i dusted that off and but i mean i had previously cleaned it off but then we also have a chest of drawers uh chest of drawers set that goes with that dresser and so i actually cleaned off the top of that that was pretty cluttered with with just a lot of stuff that need to go through and so I I kind of thinned that out a little bit a lot of that is my husband's thing so on that top of that chest of drawers and so uh I didn't take off a lot of it I took off a couple of items um and then I dusted it and so it's looking it looks it looks a whole lot better now <laughs> so I did that and while I was in there I decided well I'm gonna go ahead and clean the floor in my bathroom and so you know because I had started we did bathrooms the other day and so I went ahead and I thought well I'm in here I'm gonna go ahead and take the rugs up and wash them and clean the floor and so I did all that and so <laughs> um that's what I did I was pretty busy this morning doing that um so as far as uh crafting goes um I did I finished the part what was it part four of the Lizzie blanket so let me go ahead and show you that okay okay so here you go and um, if you've been following along, you know that the Lazy Blanket is a crochet along that was designed by Anya of Ophelia Talks. And so um, we've been, myself and some of, some of you, my viewers, have been following along or doing it with me. And so here is what I've got so far. This is 120. I don't know if I, you can see the bottom. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> this is 120 rows now. And uh, right there where that tassel was, I believe that's where I stopped yesterday. And so all I had to do was one more repeat of four rows, oh no, five rows. <laughs> and so I got that finished right there. Okay. So that completes part four of the Lizzie blanket. And um, as you know, it is based on the 
the movie Pride and Prejudice and the book by Jane Austen. And so uh, each of the sections was named after one of the five daughters in the Bennett family, who is the family main family in the book. And so that part four was Kitty, because that's the name of the fourth daughter. Okay, so we have one more part to start on the Dizzy dizzy <laughs> start on the lizzie blanket and then we will go and do the border so this last part is called lydia because that was the youngest daughter of the bennett family and so that will consist of 30 more rows which will take us to 150 rows and so i'm going to go ahead and get started on that um i don't know if i yeah, I'll try to get started on tonight. Otherwise, it'll be in the morning. But then by the time I make a video tomorrow for tomorrow's VEDA, um, I will have the first repeat done on part five of the Lizzie Blanket. <laughs> okay, so that is my, um, yeah, that completes my VEDA, I guess, VEDA section of this video. Uh, what's for dinner? Uh, I'm going to cook some fish, I think, for my husband. And I'm not sure what I'm going to have. Maybe, maybe I'll I. He likes salmon. I don't like salmon. So I'll fix it for him. And then I may fix myself maybe some tuna because I, I can take tuna okay. <laughs> if I'm not a real big fish eater, um, I might do that or I might just eat a sandwich. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, I'm fixing some fish, cooking some fish for him and uh, come up with some side dishes. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, that's kind of what's for dinner. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. So let's go on to Stitch Your Library. Okay, so Stitch Your Library, if you've been following along with that series, you know that the latest um, project that, that, that I am working on is the Yellow Submarine. And I will insert a picture right here so you can see that Yellow Submarine that I'm working on. It is an Etsy pattern, it's a paid for pattern. And so let me go ahead and show you. I'm almost finished with it. I thought I was going to be finished with it, but but truthfully, this morning or I had forgotten that I don't know why. I knew Stitcher Library was coming up today. A few days ago I was thinking, but then I don't know why. I don't know. I did know today was Wednesday. <laughs> I I don't know. I just slipped my mind into just a not too long ago and I'm like, "Oh, that's right. Today Stitcher Library." So, um I didn't quite get finished with it, but I'm almost finished with it. I will definitely be finished with it by the next Stitcher Library. Let me show you my progress on it. Okay, so here is the body of the Yellow Submarine. <laughs> there is the propeller on the back. <laughs> okay, and then I started working on the portals. The little windows, not that one. These, see? So there's going to be three, as you saw in the picture, there's going to be three portals on each side. Well, it said I could either make it just three and have it just on one side, but I'm going to go ahead and do three more and have them on the back side also. Um, so anyway, there's those three complete. I had to make three more for the other side and then sew them on. And then this right here is the beginning of the periscope, the top part. Okay, so I got to attach the yellow and then work my way down and stuff it and then sew that on the top. So I'm sure I, I'm positive that I will get it done by next stitch of library, which will be in two weeks from today. And so, um, since I'm going to be finished with it, that means next episode of stitch your library, uh, I will be asking you to vote on three new projects to, so then we can see what's the next project I'm going to be working on for stitch your library. <laughs> but anyway, so that's my progress on it. And of course this will be going to my grandbaby because his, um, nursery decor is beetles and yellow submarine. So, uh, that is what, where that's going. <laughs> okay. And so let's see. I guess that's it. I did Veda and Stitcher Library and I'll tell you what I worked on today. As far as the declutter, I, 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 uh, whoop, I met the declutter challenge on my bingo sheet. I have got, let's see, how many bingos now? I got one, two, three, four. I have four. So I have four. Uh, let's see. So the only thing that's left, let's see, she did toys and games, although I didn't do any, I, my kids are grown. So I didn't really have any toys and games that I had to thin out. Um, garage also, I think that must be, oh no, and cords and tech gear, but she did that. And I really didn't have any, uh, I need to ask my husband again to see if there's any cords or tech gear that we need to get rid of, but I don't think so. Um, 
and then garage and we have been actually working in the garage on the garage so um that's it so i'm thinking tomorrow's assignment for um for that for the spring declutter challenge it must be going to be the garage because that's the only thing that's left besides a big project down here in the corner but i'm not sure what that's going to be i have to think of that <laughs> so anyway so uh, we went over that and I, oh and i am working on the project the uh, crochet with cotton collab with uh that i'm doing with seta of seta's place the project kit that she gave me i'm working on that and i will have that finished by friday and i will show you on friday what i made what well i that one was a complete challenge kit so i already know what i'm making and you know what i'm making if you watched last friday uh but i will have it um, completed. I mean, it'll be the basket with a little duck in it. And so I'm working on that. Um, it can also, the pattern had a cat in it, but she only gave me the stuff to make that little basket in the duck. And so that's really all I'm going to have time to do. I will probably go back and make the cat eventually because it is cute, but I will have the basket with the little duck ready and to show you on Friday. <laughs> okay. And I think that is it. Thanks so much for watching and coming by and for Stitch Your Library and also for Veda Day 27. And come back tomorrow and we will have another twofer. Hopefully I'll have time to do it in two separate videos. Uh, I believe I'm babysitting tomorrow in the evening, but um, I think, yeah, I'll probably, I'll be able to separate them tomorrow. So we will have Veda Day 28 and then we also have the Yarn Joy Podcast episode I don't know. <laughs> no, t uh, 250 something. Three, maybe. Uh, I don't remember now. <laughs> but anyway, um, and then I'll show you in that uh, video, I'll show you the other things that I've been working on. So um, stay tuned for that. <laughs> so thanks so much for coming by for a visit today and come back tomorrow for the next VEDA and for the Yarn Joy podcast episode. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful week. This is mid mid midweek, <laughs> Wednesday. This is midweek, and um, so I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. And um, come back tomorrow, and we will have another visit. <laughs> okay, talk to you later, everyone. See you tomorrow in the next videos with an S. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>